and Egyptian multiplication. Let's multiply 19 times 19 just by addition, without using the multiplication operator. And in one side I'm taking half, and in the other side the double. And let's take a 19, and in the other side 19 times 19. In this we are going to half 19. Half of the 19 is 9.5, but we are taking the greatest integer, which is a 9. In the other side we double in 19 and 19 is going to be 38. If we are having 9, it's going to be 4.5, but we are taking the greatest integers is a 4. In the other side is a 76, if we are doubling 38. If we are having 4, it's going to be equal to 2. If we are doubling 76, is 152. If we are having 2, it's going to be 1, but if we are doubling 152, is 3 or 4. And now we are going to add all the odd numbers. Odd is 1, is a 9, and is a 19. And we are taking those double values here. 19 plus 38, because 9 is 38, and in 1 is 3 or 4, plus 3 or 4. If we are adding together, it's going to be 361. So now let us go and see how we can add, how we can multiply 19 times 19 with the Egyptian method. But here we start with the 1, and in the other side with the 19. And we are doubling both, both the numbers, 1 and 19. If we are doubling 1, it's going to be 2. If we are doubling 19, it's a 38. If we are doubling 2, it's going to be equal with the 4. If we are doubling 38, it's going to be 76. If we are doubling uh, 4, it's going to be 8. But if we are doubling 76, it's going to be equal with 152. If we are doubling 8, it's going to be 16. If we are doubling 152, it's 3 or 4. If we are doubling 16, it's 32. But here I'm going to stop. Because the 32 is greater than 19. So therefore we are stopping. And what we can do here? First of all, we are looking here to make the left side to make a number 19, like a number 19 is here. Uh, 16 and uh, plus 2 is 18 and plus 1 is a 19. And now I'm taking these values here, 1, 2 and 16. And I'm adding together. Is a 19, is a plus 38, and is a plus 3 or 4. We are adding together. 4 plus 8 is 12, plus 9 is a 21. Here is a 2. 2 plus 1 is 3, plus 3 is a 6. And here is a 3. So in both methods, we came to the conclusion. 19 times 19 is 361, and we verified this just with addition.